Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, I showed you how to make and switch mode power supply control circuit using TL494. Today, in this video, I will show you how to combine it to create a compact yet powerful power supply. Components are mostly used from the old computer's power supply. This is the finished circuit. The output voltage is variable. There is a 15 volt supply for the preamplifier. The total output circuit power is 350 watts. We will go into detail of the circuit after the sponsor's advertisement. This is JLCPCB's PCB assembly technology. With the most modern machinery and technology, they bring quality and cheap PCB. With a large warehouse of electronic components, it's ready to fully serve all the components for the needs of users. With the technology of soldering and assembling components to printed circuit boards, JLCPCB has reduced my soldering time by 10 times. Now I just need to connect the wires and the circuit is ready to go. And here are the results after one week. Box and PCB from JLCPCB. I have shared the gerber files in the PDF files, you can download all in the description of this video. However, watch the video carefully to know how to install and adjust the device. These are old computer power supplies, you can easily find them at hardware stores. We can make use of components like IPCA 7500, it is equivalent to TL494. Resistors, capacitors, diode, drive transformers and transistors. We need to disassemble the driver transformer a main transformer. Here is the transformer, E35, with the dimensions as above. This is a driver transformer, with the schematic and function of the pins as above. There are different types of driver transformers, but this is common in most computer power supplies. I soldered some jumpers on the circuit to accommodate this driver transformer. Solder like me if you have the same driver transformer.
we have to rewinding the transformer to match the circuit. First, we will boil the transformer for 15 minutes. Next, we will remove all the insulating tape and wires. This is the result. Transformer E35 with no air gap inside. We will use 0.3 millimeters, a magnetic wire. Create a lysed wire with 4x 0.3 millimeters. First, we will wrap half of the primary turns, 10 turns. Then wrap the insulating tape. Second, we will wrap the secondary with six turns, then wrap with insulating tape. Finally, we wrap half of the remaining primary turns, 10 turns. Then wrap the insulating tape. We will remove the LM7815, then supply 15 volts to check the wavy form on the transistors. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe my channel. I'll see you next time.